Hello, I'm the Man of Chance, and this is the Ultimate Horse Challenge, or Ultimate Horse for short. This challenge was based on an originally made for the internet show, Achievement Horse, but I ended up making it too long, so I decided to make it open to the public. But I'm still sending a submission to Achievement Hunter, just in case they want to do an easier version of the challenge. The course has 13 parts in it, each varying in difficulty. Each vehicle in Forge World is used at least once during Ultimate Horse. Now there is a prize, but I will tell you what it is at the end of the video, and then we'll all have some cake. Okay, now here are the rules. Number one, you must complete the challenge seamlessly, aka you cannot just do each part of the challenge and then copy and paste the videos together. Number two, you must use the game type and map provided, and they must not be edited in any way. Number three, the video must be in your file share when you send it to me. Number four, let me do the editing. Just keep the camera attached to the person at all times during the submission. Number five, follow all the rules that will be stated during the video. Number six, watch the tutorial on how to send me the file share, which is located in the info of the video. But send the submissions to my email, manofchance at yahoo.com. Alright, coming up is the first part, which is called Wraith Jump. Um, don't worry about trying to land, like, treads down or whatever, you know, it doesn't have treads. It's pretty much impossible. And make sure to be courteous and always flip your wraith. The next part is, um, Banshee Parachute. Which you have to fly over to this big tower over here, which the arrow is pointing to. And then jump out midair and live. next one is called Warthog Launch, which you have to go through this bumpy tunnel. And then you have to go off the gravity launcher and then make it onto there. I, you probably want to put it behind there, but that isn't a rule. The next one is Revenant Bounce, which took me the longest to make because multiple problems with different ideas. And here is the ghost ramp. You have to launch off the cliff, land, and then go up here. And you must go over all of the mines. You cannot fall to the left or the right of the mines. You have to go over them. But if your like, middle part goes in the mines, I've done that once or twice, it's alright. And this is not a part of the challenge, but if you happen to fall off in one of the parts over here on the land, you can either go to this one, which is mainly for the Warthog jump, or this one over here, which is for the Revenant bounce, mostly. Or, if you happen to somehow blow up your ghost and live, you have a teleporter over there. Now let's see where the teleporter takes you back. Right back to the beginning, so you guys can get back to winning. Here's the helicopter game. It's probably my most creative one that I made personally. Very original. Um, just have to get up here and there is a timer getting through here. And you basically just have to make the teleporter at the end. But you have to get on the teleporter's level for it to work. And then you land over there for the next part. And the next... Oh wait, sorry. For a better angle for it coming at you. The next one's called Geoff's Kryptonite, which is, you know, a reference to one of the Achievement Horse episodes. You have to jump across all these rocks and make it to the top. But you're basically using your feet as a vehicle for this one. Here's the flying tank, which you may have seen in a lot of Achievement Horse ones, where you get launched and then land on the big platform. You don't have to land treads down, but you do have to get the tank to the top of the hill, like I'm doing right now, and then park it. 
preferably in the second spot for anybody in the future. I, mean, I know I kind of edited this bad, but this is Mongoose Spiral, which you have to go down to this big spiral all the way. Here's Mine Ollie, which is mainly put in there because those stupid because the stupid bridge has those huge bumps. So it's sort of like a mini challenge. But it can catch you if you aren't paying attention or just goofing off during it. And here's the mongoose loop. Which is difficult and sometimes surprising, you know. Here's another look at it. I didn't realize how retarded it looked until afterwards, but after I was running out of parts and money, I sort of got annoyed and just built one that worked. So, you know, what can you say? You know, here's the one called Hole in One, which you have to run, go down the strip, and then land on the gravity launch, and then land in the um, golf, the golf hole. Here's another look, you know, from a different angle. go into the teleporter to go to the next part. And you have to watch out for that mine, by the way. Now here's Win, the last one, which isn't really much of a challenge, but I still consider it a part. Just have to shoot the mine up there with the shade turret. And that is it. So the awesome prize for the first person to beat Ultimate Horse is 1600 Microsoft points. Now that you have seen that Ultimate Horse is possible, and you were told what the prize is, here's what you need to do. Number one, download the map and game type to your Xbox. Links to my file share are in the info. Number two, beat the challenge with an unchanged map and game type. Remember, you must beat the whole challenge all together. Don't just beat each part and then copy and paste them together. Number three, send the link to the video in your file share to my email, manofchance at yahoo.com. If you don't know how to do this, look in the info for the tutorial. Number four, wait to see if your submission was deemed legitimate and you were the first person to submit it. Number five, if you won, then I will email you the code for the 1600 Xbox Live points shortly after to the email you sent the submission to me with. Number six, the video of your success will be posted on YouTube with the audio of me giving suggestions on how to beat the map for everyone else who didn't meet, beat the map before you. Also, credit goes out to Achievement Hunter, Bungie, Microsoft, and 343 Industries. Joe, so just like to say, please don't sue me for making this challenge. All you will get is 1600 Xbox Live points.